Hi, I'm Steve Schweitzer. Welcome to Steve's Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. When I was a teenager, I couldn't wait to get my driver's license. Now, I guess I've driven close to a million miles. But every time I get in a new car, I realize there's a lot more to know than just how to adjust the mirrors and dim the headlights. Ever get in a car and wonder which side to find the gas tank fill up? You don't have to look any farther than the gas gauge. See that little icon of a gas pump? Most include a little arrow pointing to the side with the fill up door. If there isn't an arrow, it's probably on the same side as the icon's gas hose. I don't know a lot about cars. They either run or they don't. For me, the best way to keep my car running smoothly is to find a good mechanic. Ask your friends or coworkers for recommendations or look at Yelp or even Angie's List. I've been taking my car to Bill Aminet at Beck Service for years. That's who I turn to when I have car questions. Like, when do you need to service your AC? Bottom line is AC is like electrical or it works or doesn't. So if it's blowing code, uh, you do not need to address it. Or what about that check engine light? I was always told to pull over and get it towed in right away. But Bill says that's not always the case. If a light is on and it's acting fine, driving fine, odds are you're okay. If that light is flashing, that's a no-no. You, you pull over, you get to your mechanic. Turns out something as simple as a loose gas cap can set it off. And what about oil changes? My dad always told me every 3,000 miles. But when I bought my last car, they said, oh, only needs to be changed every 7,500 miles. What is it? We're going to tell you every 3,000 miles on conventional oil, about every 4,500 miles on a blend. And of course, your synthetic, we tell you about five to 7,000 miles, depending on how you drive it. Your book will tell you one thing, your dealer will tell you another, and we'll tell you another. I know it's confusing, but it's the difference between getting more mileage out of that car. Uh, you know, we're not going to sell you a new car. We're not worried about that. We're about keeping you on the road. A dealer, they're going to sell, they want to sell you a car in 100,000 miles. So that's why you get different variables between different people. With a new car, Bill's most important advice may come as a bit of a shock to the guys in the audience. Read the manual. As much as I hate to say that, we're guys, we don't believe in that. A guy, woman, it doesn't matter. You better read the manual because what's going to happen, you're going to walk in our shop with your tail between your legs and you're going to say, I didn't read a manual, I broke it, then it's going to be an expensive fix. Research indicates us boomers will keep driving longer than any previous generation. The question is, who will be doing the driving, us or the car? For Boomer TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.